Paris. Okay, so nice postcard shots of Paris, blah blah blah, and it's time to take a deep breath and dive into the last and most exciting part of the fashion month. So, first thing I do is, well, well, the first thing I do is have breakfast. No, 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 no croissant. Then, meet up with my Paris team, try to get serious for two seconds. You know, it feels like, like back to school, except this time, how can I say that? Well, it's like I'm the teacher. Look, those are our studios. And let me introduce the team to you. Bon, okay, I'm starting introduction. Today is the first day of Paris, pardon my French. <laughs> and this is Gino. Hey! hey. <laughs> Emily, who is the boss? Look, she's at the. Uh, yes. Cameron. Yes. Chairman. Exactly. Team. <laughs> This is John, a super cool editor that we brought from New York. From, LA, from, LA. He, from LA. He hasn't yeah. slept since then. Yeah. This is Valerie. <laughs> Valerie, super Paris. cool editor from Paris. This is Alex <laughs> with the red lipstick. The, this is Fred under the cap. He has a big camera. Huh? And this is Julia. Ah, la vache. Yes. Non, c'est sexy, sexy, sexy. Et maintenant, nous allons aller au Dries Van Otten Show. C'est le premier show. Oui, non, ça va. Oh my god, il y a toujours une caméra, everywhere I go. Hello. Dries est toujours très bon pour faire l'invitation. Très light. Ok, maintenant que vous connaissez tout le monde, let's start. Fashion Week kicked off for us with Dries Van Outen's show. This is Peter Phillips, one of the most talented makeup artists I know. Oh, and here is Dries. Oh, love. Let's ask him a couple of questions about his collection. Uh, we start always by saying nothing is as it seems. So it's what it feels heavy, it's very transparent. So it's about just materials, but the guys, there's men's fabrics, it's red shirts with couture skirts. So it's really a mixture of couture, men's wear, day and night. I saw the makeup, so it's very. I'm gonna let you okay. Thank you so Enjoy. much. Enjoy. Just a little interview on the side. like teen spirit to me, if you know what I mean. I love Dries. <laughs> I love Dries, yes. always. With the flower, the casting of the yes. Yeah. I love the makeup and the hair. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was good. Tomorrow, Very I'm going to go buy Fuchsia. <laughs> put a lot of powder and uh, do blonde with a big... Yes, like that. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to yes. see it tomorrow. <laughs> And then we went off to Russia. Everybody was there. The Russia girl, she always has that edgy look, you know? Very cool, very interesting. After the joy of the Rocha show, I spotted my friend Lauren and after, well, after commenting about the people outside the shows, shooting around, 
and joking around with some friends. Did you queue to get your Supreme cap? On eBay. Really? On eBay, but it's like very it's expensive. People queue to get it? Yeah. We were, we, were talk, we were talking about Supreme, that it's like more fashion than fashion. <laughs> because. Guys. More for guys. Okay, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oh my god, it's Lauren Bastille! Scott and I offered Lauren a ride in our car. And the conversation took an interesting turn. So you're gonna write a story about... Yes! So what is your story? I think Because is... here you are with like... The king. The greatest the king. street photographer. A good starter for my story is the article that was published in the New York Times that said that the, um, all the um, street style had lost its authenticity yeah. because of all the girls who would have clothes lent yeah. to get shot and are only getting ready to get shot by the street style photographers. When street style started to be big, it was about street style, not about people coming out of the show style. It was really about, you could see people mixing high street and vintage and now it's all like designer. There's still that same element of young girl, third string, fashion editor, who's having to mix uh, American apparel with one piece of Dries or Mark, and um, she can't afford it. And that's and, and with mi mixing it with vintage, that's all she can do. That girl's still there. It's now everybody um, acts like. Oh, you know, no one was dressing up. Now everybody's dressing up to go to the shows. You know, it's one of the reasons I went is, you know, I'd been going to shows for a long time before I ever started shooting, and you would see people weren't dressing up for the photographers, they were dressing up for each other. The other element that's not so much there anymore that people forget, you know, it's just changed. The stylists, you know, usually are the most well-dressed people at the shows, and, uh, and they were there. I mean, that's one of the reasons I started going, you know, and they've been replaced by more calculated, um, people trying to be shot, more, um, or it girls or bloggers. Bye -bye. After that, the rain turned Paris into a beautiful cinema set. We decided to go back slowly, dreaming grungy dreams in the gorgeous rainy sunset. Mm -hmm.